Okay, everyone, this is an example of the week six project, the analog temperature gauge. This is what the uh, circuit looks like right now. Um, this has got a TMP36 in one corner and the servo connection in the other corner. Um, I've used yellow wires to indicate the signal lines and then blue wires to indicate the positive and negative um, to each of the components. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna move quickly, move backwards here. So you can see the servo is stuck in a piece of cardboard and then I'm gonna show you the front side which shows the servo arm which has got a popsicle stick attached to it sort of jumping back between 20 and 21, 20 and 21 and 22 degrees and that's just because there's a little bit of air current moving around the, the temperature sensor. Okay, and then over on the computer screen I have the serial print line command printing out how many degrees in uh, Celsius, that's from our calculation from week four. And then I've mapped that to the servo angle, which is being calculated um, every one second um, I am taking a reading. So I've got a delay in the program so that it doesn't uh, read continuously, but it waits a second each time. Okay, so you can see it bouncing around a little bit. So that kind of tells me that the temperature scale is working. And right now it's close to room temperature, so we're just above 21 degrees, in between 21, 22 degrees um, within the air of the, um, the sensor itself. So the thing you'll notice is I've created a temperature scale from 15 to 30 degrees, and the 15 corresponds to the zero line, and the 30 would be corresponding to 180 on the servo. So we're mapping numbers between 0 and 180 degrees and we're to end when we take our temperature reading there. Okay, so that's a, a mock-up of a kind of scale that you could create at home. And um, I will put some of the code hints into the course shell um, to help you get started with the program, but that is how the hardware would look. All right, take one last look here so you guys can take a quick look at it. So temperature sensor and then the servo.